use the same voice is actually this is like a two floor, okay, two floor plants. If you look at this one here, right? Okay, so the things that I would do is like the, um, for instance, we still can do the perspective as we would usually do, like the structure things. If we're looking that way, we can kind of see something happening later. But the things I like you to pay attention is the the same abstract things is going to repeat downstairs. Okay, so same abstract thing will repeat downstairs, uh, which means that uh, if if we pay attention to the post one two three four five one two three four five right later when we go downstairs we will realize that uh, the exact location under this floor right will be holding by a column of the western column size. What I'm trying to do here is this. And coming back here, right? And it goes back there. And then this is actually the boundary. We are here. And then we are sitting there looking that way. And now they also have another uh, hallway right over here. So First thing is you will realize that uh, this is something a little bit unusual. So we can kind of do some analysis. So the first thing we draw is this one. Vanishing point, going back. So this point is this, right? Okay. So this is this. Push in, push in. We got this, we stop right here and we have another plane right there and that is this okay so this is that and then finally we make this in the half we pretend it doesn't have the angle it goes back <coughs> one more time to the back this plane is this plane here. and then it changed so mark the point mark the point connecting the dot Towards the end, that is how we can have this. You know, if we kind of let it out, and then then we can still continue to develop the column on the side. You know, right here, right there. We can draw one view here. We can draw another view there. We can take a photo here, we can take a photo downstairs, but we cannot take a photo simultaneous of this floor and the last floor. We can only use the joint to do so. Okay. There's, a, there's a differences in terms of the spatial composition in the west and the east. Um, upstairs, this is not a center. However, downstairs, what you're looking at is the center of that. So, if you're doing the sketches, you know, when you're doing the sketches, if this is a page, right? If you have the ideas that the, um, the two pages should be tell another story, then I would suggest you say, hey, if you have another sketch right here, right? I cannot follow the structures, it goes down right here. You know, because you know that um, they are the, exactly the same thing. So I would like to keep everything was kind of the same over here. And then you can start to carry out you know what's happening in the between maybe this would start to have you know then you can start to have the detail develop so they have a related relationship. This is the whole idea about I like this place as my finale of the sketching class because it will make a lot of sense it's like uh, uh, you can take a whole lot of a lot of different photos but in the end if you try to make them integrate together you will realize that uh, you need a lot of more kind of the thinking process say this here is upstairs and then this here is downstairs so if you lay out a grid system so this is kind of a grid system then you will say, it looks like that, right? 
one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And the one, two, three, four, five. And the one, two, three, four, five. So it is possible these things right here apply to upstairs and the downstairs, but for but for the upstairs, the space is defined like this, right? The tatami area is right over here. But in the in the downstairs, this upstairs, what you have is the space was actually defined by this central axis, you know. But eventually, they follow the same consistency. 